Hello everybody, it is me again, Hope from Crafty Hope, and I am back again with another hashtag love summer art project. Um, let me go real quick and tell you that the hashtag love summer art project is a collaboration of YouTube arts and crafters, um, art, yeah, that we've created a community where we are making videos using this hashtag love summer art that you can then go into YouTube and search and find a huge variety of art and craft videos on YouTube. So go to your search bar, put it in hashtag loves time art, you know, after you watch my video, of course, and you'll find a, a huge amount of creative and crafty and artistic videos for you to um, spend your summer hours. And we are going to be doing this I think it's going to be every month. I'm not positive yet, but um, keep your eyes peeled. My last video I already did one for the hashtag Love Summer Art, and I made this fun um, button bracelet. You can go and watch that on my video. But for now, I'm going to do maybe a little mixed media. I'm not real sure how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to play. So one of the things I really love about summer is the beach. I live in southern Alabama and we have some of the most gorgeous beaches you can imagine. You wouldn't believe that for Alabama, but it is absolutely true. And one of the benefits of being in South Alabama is it's hot, so we get a lot of beach time. So I'm going to make some kind of abstract, maybe not abstract, I don't know. I just want to play and do a beachy kind of theme. So I'm starting with, this is a sheet of watercolor paper that um, was the last piece in a pad I had and I colored it with some just craft acrylic paints and different blues um, you can see it's run and I sprayed water and it it's dried and it's whatever um, and so from here I want to create some waves and contrast so I've got a Dixie cup and um, just some white some more white ugh, craft paint that I am putting in that Dixie cup along with a little bit of water, Ooh, probably too much water, um, let me mix that up a little bit, and I'm going to add a piece of, I don't even know what you call this, I guess it's some kind of nylon, um, whoo, well now I'm going to mess up my whole paper, alright, let me see if I can fix that, man, I'm not off to a good start today, yo. Crafty accident, so that's better. Okay, that came up pretty well. <laughs> I'm going to add a little more paint back into here and um, try not to uh, spill it this time. Alright, so again, I have some nylon <laughs> coated, I don't know, thread string, whatever. It was cheap, and I've got it. So I'm going to throw it in this um, Dixie cup and see if I can get it all coated with my watery paint. All right, so that's all in there. And using my fingers, I don't mind getting my hands dirty. So I'm going to pull that out. And then start throwing it on my paper and I really want to just do it long ways like it's the waves across the beach like that I really don't want it to go up and down so I am just randomly tossing it <laughs> That is nice and covered. I'm going to um, pull up my heat gun and dry that and try to find a place to put this uh, wet paint so that it doesn't spill again. Um, and I will be back in a bit. My background is now mostly dry. There's still ooh, yeah, a couple wet spots, but I'm going to put it aside and let it finish drying while I am um, cutting out a few things. So I put that to side. I've grabbed some really bright, fun, summery-ish um, scrapbook paper, at least what I think is bright fun summary, 
and I'm gonna cut out some vaguely bathing suit-ish shapes. <laughs> I've got another four bathing suits cut out, but I've decided that I don't want my beach to look too crowded, so I'm going to leave them with just these two, four, six guys here um, in the water. So from now, I'm not real sure what direction I'm going to go. I'm going to try to get these glued down a tad bit more. Realize realized that I was separating all the boys over here and all the girls over here and that just didn't seem right, so that's why some things got moved and picked up and all of that in the process. I think I can't really decide what I want to do next. I'm really aching to pull out my Stabilo for some reason and outline these. And I think I'm going to do that just to see how it looks. If it, if it looks horrible, then we'll paint over it, do something else. So let me um, grab that. the Stabilo and watered around all of them. Um, looks like I was heavy handed with the Stabilo in some of these but at the same time I like the um, like watery effect around the outside of these and it gives it some definition. Um, and I really am just been sitting here trying to figure out what I wanted to do next. I remember I had these stamps. Um, they're from Recollections. I got them on clearance at Michael's and they're 
they're cute little fun. If I get those lights out of the way. Um, cute fun uh, underwater stamps. So I think I'm going to do a couple of those real quick. And um, just a few of them. I really like the bubbles in there. So I'm for sure going to do some bubbles. And then maybe a... Um, the fish and the crab, I think, are my favorite, so I'll probably throw those two in. popping out so much it almost feels like they're not in the water so I'm trying to decide I really don't want to ruin this because I am liking the direction it's going in um but these bathing suits are popping out so much that I kind of want to bring them down so I'm toying with the idea of either using some of the watering down what I've left from that and going over a little bit but I don't know that I like that, or adding some blue to it and watering it down and going over it, or just taking a bunch of blue sprays and um, going over it. So I'm trying to decide there what I want to do. Okay, so I'm back, and I've decided to just go for it. I pulled out some stencils. I've got, this is a um, Huey's mask from Mr. Huey, and it's kind of bubbly looking. And then this one is a... Um, Sparkly kind of stencil. I think I got it at Walmart or something. So I'm gonna try these. to me and I don't want to overload it with too much so I'm just taking this um it's a really basic pen from the Dollar Tree and I like it because the ink flows really well but it does bleed so I'm going to be kind of careful with this um and make a bit of a border around the outside This is, was just going to be a quick and easy, fun little project. I think it looks great. I've got to get it flattened out. But um, I'm really happy with that. Let's, I'll let you decide what you think.
again, remember, go and search the hashtag love summer art and find some other fun crafters out there who are doing all kinds of things there making jewelry and knitting and mixed media and who knows what else i can't wait to go search and see what all kinds of summer art and love summer art crafts there are so thanks for checking mine out and later guys